Hello, and welcome to this tutorial introducing you to Finion, a new web application for analyzing and downloading historical financial information from global financial data. This video is a quick overview of Finion. We will cover topics including the search engine, a new way to search with the Finion tree, improved charting capabilities, creating data lists for downloading an auto track, and a new way to create lists for downloading and charting using MyTree. We have a lot of topics to cover, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is log in using the same credentials as you use for globalfinancialdata.com. As of the recording of this video, this login process takes a few moments, so please be patient. Once logged in, you'll be presented with the home screen. This is where you'll spend the majority of your time with Infineon, unless you're working with AutoTrack or your account information. Finion is cross-browser compliant and runs on all devices. This responsive behavior can be shown by changing the window size. Or adjusting the zoom on your browser. Now on to the application itself. The first thing to show you is the general layout of the screen. The header is simple navigation between Home, Auto Track, Account Info, and Logout. Below the header, there are two tree structures in the upper left-hand corner and a search engine below them. Results from the Finian tree, My Tree Actions, and search engines are shown at the root of a tab structure dominating the majority of the interface. The tabs include search results, recent results, charting, and help. The buttons in Finian are color-coded and linked to information on individual series, allow you to run individual or comparison charts, or download data, either for a single series or a group of series. Finion's search engine will feel familiar to anyone who has used Global Financial Data's search engine. However, in addition to the eight search engine databases of GFD database, US and UK stocks, real estate, Eurostat, World Bank, all stocks, and GFD Universe, Finion adds four new search engines for fixed income securities, constituent membership, all files and securities, and events in time. Finion improves the speed of the search and adds new charting and download tools to work with the data after you find it. Let's take a moment to talk about the new search engines in Finion. The fixed income security search allows you to search for all fixed income securities from the United States, United Kingdom, and other exchanges. The search includes bonds, but no equities, ETFs, or other variable income securities. The Constituent Membership Engine allows you to add the constituents of some of the primary indices of Dow Jones and Standard & Poor's, both currently and in the past. The All Files and Security Search is the broadest search available and covers all files provided by Global Financial Data. This search includes files from both the GFD Universe and All Stocks searches, combining them in a single search. The most recent and still expanding search, Events in Time allows you to search for significant historical events that have influenced financial markets in the past. The tool currently covers over 50,000 events over the past 2,000 years and allows you to search by year, by country, by topic, and by keyword. In addition to the search engine, Finion introduces two new tree structures, Finion Tree and MyTree. Finion Tree is a new way to search for data, while MyTree is best described as an evolution of AutoTrack in that you can create lists of series for download, but it also adds charting, and you can include data series across folders. So we'll come back to MyTree after AutoTrack. In Finion Tree, let's open up the root node by clicking on the little arrow to the left. Then you'll be given two choices between main indicators and tools. The main indicators branch opens up access to large sets of indicator categories, starting with asset allocation, which returns indices for stocks, bonds, and treasury bills, then commodity indices and prices. The list goes on, and in the interest of brevity, it's outside the scope of this tutorial. For more information on main indicators inside Finion Tree, see our Finion Deep Dive tutorial. Jumping down to tools, there are branches for the yield curve of 23 named economic groups, as well as a comprehensive list of individual countries. Here's the yield curve for Australia, for example. 
As you can see, Finian Tree produces charts as well as lists. Finishing up the tools in Finian Tree, you can look at constituent lists, both current and discontinued. There is also a currency converter with output options for charts or downloads. Chart options are source currency and target currency. The download options add multiple target currencies, as well as data frequency and format options. Now let's take a look at AutoTrack. AutoTrack is a way to group series together for downloading. In this tree to the left, you can create a list of folders below the name of the organization the user belongs to. In each folder, called a workbook, you can build a list of series that are grouped together as a single download. When you click on a workbook, the series list it contains will appear in the grid on the right. The download always has the latest data, so you never have to worry about adding new data to a workbook. Simply download it again and the latest data will be there. AutoTrack is extended to work with other parts of the application. Initiating a download of any series list outside of AutoTrack creates or updates an AutoTrack workbook called InstaDownload Workbook. Renaming it in AutoTrack after it's been created saves it for future downloading. We've created a deep dive video for AutoTrack. Check it out in our library. Taking the AutoTrack concept a step further, let's go back to the home area of the application to talk about MyTree. MyTree is like AutoTrack in that you can create a list of series for downloading, but now you also get graphs and charts with Finian's new engine. The default way to build up a list of series in each folder is different, and the series list becomes part of the tree instead of displaying in a grid. So now you can include series across folders to download or graph. Exporting and importing from AutoTrack takes just a few clicks. There's some technique involved to work with MyTree efficiently, so check out the help section on MyTree, which also include links to the MyTree deep dive video. We now have this graph on the screen, so let's discuss the graph and charting engine in Finion. To run a quick graph on any individual series, Check on the graphing button associated with the series in any search result grid. The graph will appear as a pop-up with a maximum history of 10 years. You can download an image of the graph here, and you can drill down into the details of the data by clicking and dragging, using sliders, or clicking the zoom buttons. To view the complete history of the series, click the Graph All Dates button. The pop-up will close and the graph will be rendered in the Graph and Charts Results tab. The main chart tab is also where any group comparison chart will be rendered. Once the graph or chart has been rendered, there are many options to expand or reduce the series in a chart, set overlay options, and more by clicking the graphing options. For more information on charting options in Finion, check out the help section in our deep dive video on charting and graphing. As we have seen throughout this video, Downloading data is possible in many different areas of the application, and it happens in real time. The status of a download is shown via status bar and status message, which are updated to the download screen as it's processed. So if, for example, I download the contents of these series, you can see the status being updated. And when the status reaches 100%, a notification bar appears at the bottom of the page with options to save or view the data. Downloading search results is even easier. Just click the Download Search Results button at the bottom of the grid, and the search results are immediately downloaded. There are a few more features not mentioned in the introduction that we can cover quickly. You may have noticed the Quick Search input field above the search results. This search autocomplete pulls from the GFD universe, but searches all files and securities. It has optional parameters set via the Search Options button. Use the Hourglass button to execute the search. There's also another button on the right-hand side that has an information icon. That button, as well as other information buttons with clear background, point to help section topics dedicated to whatever the information button is associated with. The search result grids have sizable columns, so you can fine-tune their look after changing the window size or browser zoom level. Finally, here's a trick for building up lists of disparate data. As you search, click the checkboxes of the series you want, then click this Add to Recent Results List button. The series are then added to this Recent Results List. You can then perform actions on them like charting, downloading, or adding them to AutoTrack. And there you have it, a very quick overview of Finion. We covered topics including the search engine, a new way to search with the Finion tree, 
improved graph and chart capabilities, using AutoTrack for downloading, and a new way to create lists for downloading and charting using MyTree. We also talked about how to use the quick search feature and how to use the recent results list. Make sure you check out our other videos where we dive a lot deeper into these topics. Thanks for watching.